having a pretty good day today. I actually woke up kind of late and there was an accident on the freeway so it took me an hour to get to work instead of 40 minutes which was a bummer but work was good today and I got to talk to my friend Kyle on the way home tonight. Also talked to my wife Amy. Now I'm headed to meet my wife for dinner. She worked up in Newport today. So we are going to a barbecue restaurant and I'm excited. So we went to the barbecue place and I didn't get any video because my phone died. It was okay. Not my favorite, but also not the worst. So now my wife and I are in Target, right? Yes. And what are we doing? We're playing a fun game. We're playing a fun game. And that game consists of each of us having a lavish <laughs> budget of $10 to buy each other something <laughs> fun or useful. So what did you just find? Is that a pillow? <laughs> I don't know. We're not sure what that is. Some animal head. So I very quickly and directly found what I was going to get my wife. I didn't have this in mind before we came to the store, but we got her some new shorts. So now she has been tasked with finding something for me that is also fun and useful. Fun or useful. And at this point we're just looking for something. Feel this. <laughs> okay, this isn't, this is awful. No, it feels so good. Oh, I think I rubbed the... <laughs> this is so soft. It's like, we have plenty of blankets. Aww. I love blankets. I know you do. But it's on sale. You guys remember, my wife loves blankets. <laughs> it's on sale. This brand name is Pillow Fort. That's kind of interesting. Stain remover, wife? Come on, that's not fun. I didn't do the stain remover. I didn't. You stopped and wanted to look at it. I wasn't looking at the stain remover. <laughs> We're on a date and you're looking at stain remover. No, that's not true. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> Guys, don't be looking at stain remover, okay, when you're on a date. <gasps> oh no, I think my wife found the thing. <laughs> She's so excited right now. What do you think? What do you guys think it's gonna be? <laughs> Okay, wife, what did you find? A lock so that you can go to the gym in the morning and lock your clothes up. Hint, hint, go to the gym? No, that husband. was not, <laughs> not what I was saying. You said you didn't have I, a lock? I asked her the other day for a lock because I did not have one. So now <laughs> we're faced with the wall of locks to try to figure out which one I want to take to the gym in the mornings. Hmm. Oh, choices. Babe, I think you broke that lock. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you did. Look. No, Look, guys. Shh, shh. See this lock right here? That lock is now broken. It's not broken. The, look, oh. it went back. Maybe it's not broken. I don't know. Okay, so we haven't hit your eleven dollars yet, so we should buy you something else. Guys, this is the kind of life that you want. You set a budget, <laughs> and she spends every penny. <laughs> she can't stop. I know. Water bottles. Water bottles? Yeah, because you stole mine. How about a pen, wife? Can we buy a nice pen? Ooh, a Look at a water bottle. Wow. What a sad story. <laughs> a Brita water bottle. Do you want a pan? You want a pan for $4? No, I don't <laughs> want a pan for $4. You can get a bigger pan, like a pan for more than $4. Then we'd be over budget. Whatever. Don't you see the problem? No. Hmm. Maybe we could get some of the, um, the filters that go in the, the, um, the what's it called? Airbus? No, the Chemex. Yeah, what kind of filters? Hmm. Hey, if you guys want to buy us some Chemex filters, the coffee jar thing that you're supposed to put coffee grounds in and then pour over the top and then do the blooming thing. Shout out to Javi, who taught me what blooming is. He didn't know he was going to get a shout out today when we are walking through Target. Wow. 
Where are we going? Are we going to go see the pins? Coffee mugs. A water bottle, but they're down here. Guys, we have like 30 million water bottles at home, but... Okay. A blanket. <laughs> Here we are back at the overpriced blanket aisle. We should go back to the other section. Oh, we could nerd out in this aisle. Okay, what kind of pens do you want? Okay, guys. Here's the true test. What kind of pen should you get? Wow, this one says it comes with one free pen. That's amazing because I don't see any free pens out here. I just see three in that one package. So that sounds like some marketing crap to me. We should get the free pen. <laughs> Why wouldn't we get the three free pens? <laughs> uh, these you people want? think that we are such idiots. Okay, what pen do you want? I want some of the um, the maybe the precision or the pilot, like these ones. Okay. But what's the fine tip? Is it 0.5 or 0.7 millimeter? 0.5 is extra fine. I get some of those? Or... What other options we got here? So, these are the pens that I got. I know they're pretty nondescript, but they are 0.3 millimeters. Extra, extra fine. So, I'll let you know how they are. Or maybe I won't because they're pens and you probably don't care. And this is the lock that I got. So if you guys ever see this lock at the gym, it's definitely mine. And you're welcome to take all of my clothes out of my locker. The combination is going to be something that I haven't determined yet. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my vlog yet, subscribe. <laughs>